Hi, this is Cherie with Rehash Fiber. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make coarse spun yarn. Hello, everybody. We are gonna talk about core spinning fiber and making core spun yarn. And I'm gonna show you the main reason I would do a core spun. Do you see all the beautiful colors in this roving? So when I got this, I decided I did not want to do a regular spin because I was afraid of losing the differences in color. I didn't want it to mush or blend too much. So by core spinning, you keep some of this intact and you get to really see the colors. So that is why I'm core spinning this and I'm gonna use this today to teach you how. To start with, choose a yarn that's gonna be your core. I usually just take something from my stash that might be, you know, a wool and maybe something that's just not as soft as others. And that way I use up the not so soft stuff. So I have my wool there, that's gonna be my core. Now I have my roving and look at these beautiful colors. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna separate sections. And as you see here, these sections are gonna stay intact. It's just gonna be drafted out a little bit but it will stay intact and keep all those beautiful colors. When you're setting up your wheel, you want a very low ratio. You do not want it to spin too much too fast. Um, otherwise your yarn's just gonna get very, very energized and very hard to work with. So I have a low ratio here. This is a one to six. Then on the drive band, I'm gonna have just a little bit more tension on that. So as I'm core spinning, I want it to take the yarn from me because if it sits there too long, there's just gonna be way too much spin in it. So that's how you set it up to go. Before you introduce your core, you need to just spin a singles for just a little bit. So we're gonna get that going right now. you need to have this anchor for the core. So I'm gonna get my leader in there. I'm gonna get just nice single going. Once that is wrapped around the bobbin, okay, now we're good to go. Now, here comes the core. And we're gonna work the core in for just a few inches till it feels secure. Right into the middle here. Only you will know when you feel like your core is firmly in place. I feel like that's good. All right, here we go. Core is gonna come straight out to me. I end up holding it between those two fingers there, just to kind of have a handle on it while the spin is going into it. So the fiber you're gonna spin with is at a 90 degree angle. And we're gonna go nice and slow. We're gonna let it wrap right around the core. See how that wraps there? It's a whole lot of fun. It's wrapping it up. I can feel the twist going into the core. What you wanna be sure to not do is ply it. You want this to be wrapping around your core. So just keep an eye on that, go nice and slow. You can treadle slowly and just have a good handle on it. See it wrapping? I just think that's really fun. Now here's where I pinch Here's where I draft out a bit till I get the amount I like. So you see how I stop and I start and I just always make sure 
that I have a handle on what's going on. I'm coming to the end of my fiber here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut my core because what I wanna do is secure the core to the inside of the fiber. Because if I ran them both out to the end, they would unravel. It wouldn't keep my fiber that is spun around the core secure. So we're cutting the core yarn and then I'm just going to spin the rest as a single and the core is tucked inside. And that is how you finish that out. So here we have it, and I love how it turned out. I can see the variances in color that I did not wanna lose. So it's all here, and I'm really happy. Now I'm gonna give you a couple of tips. Now, usually when I core spin, there's a little bit of extra energy in the yarn. If this happens to you, I'm gonna tell you what works. Um, I go through the regular washing, the soak. I let it soak for 20 minutes with just a tiny little bit of dish soap in the water. Give it a good rinse, and then I take it outside and I wing it around a little bit. And that helps to even things out. And then I hang it. And then what I do is I've got a nice little three pound weight that I put in a baggie and I hook onto it and I let it dry so that it's stretching it out and not like that where you see the energy. So I'm just giving you that little tip. Then once it's dry, it does not boing back like that, not as much anyway, just a little bit, and then it's fine. So just telling you that because I wanna share with you what I figured out along the way. So have fun with that core spinning because I think it's a blast and it's just so cool to do something different than the regular spin. And uh, it's just neat to have different kinds of yarn in the end. So at the end of these shows, I do like to share with you a little bit. And you know what? I've never told you about the pink couch. This couch has a history. I'm a professional photographer and I initially purchased it for the studio for photo shoots. And it's seen its share of shoots from in the studio, outside. It's been in downtown Tampa. It's been on Clearwater Beach. Uh, I've had a variety of people on it from models to families and it really got a lot of great use. Then I felt like it had kind of, it, it had its life. I was kind of done with it. Um, I shot enough and I thought, hmm, I'm not gonna use it anymore. It sat in the garage for a couple of years and I was trying to sell it on Craigslist. And nobody bought it because it is not the kind of couch you would use for your living room or to sit on for, you know, a comfortable relaxation. <laughs> it's just a pretty thing to have and perfect for this. When I put this studio together to shoot, up came the pink couch. And you know what? I was so glad nobody bought it because here it is living on yet. It's perfect for these shows. When people do come to this studio, they do sit on it and I'm glad it's here, it's pretty cool. So there's your story behind the pink couch. It's not going anywhere and on we go. All right, I wanna remind you about Patreon. If you're enjoying this show, please help support it. All the support comes from you guys. I, every day, I'm thinking about what can I share with you? And if you can give any amount of money per month via Patreon, it just helps with everything with the show. So you can find that on my website, rehashfiber.com. And also there's merchandise. Please, if you buy a t-shirt or something, that helps too. It's all greatly appreciated. And I will keep searching for stuff to share with you. So everybody have fun spinning your core spun yarn and thanks for watching.